Hello, and this is Belinda with Willow Birch and Clover, and I have a very special journal that I would like to show you this morning. The thing that makes this journal so special is not actually the book itself, but it's the story behind the book, and that's what I wanted to share with you this morning. This book will not be for sale. It was commissioned by a very special young man. His name is Will. And he asked me to make it for a very sweet young lady. And I'll just call her Kay. But what makes it absolutely extraordinary to me is that Will is my 11-year-old son. He has never asked me to make anything for anyone other than his teachers. But he did come to me about this journal and wanted this book to be created for Valentine's Day for Kay. Just to back up a little bit and tell you something about Will so you'll understand the specialness of this story. Will is a big boy for his age. Will is almost as tall as I am. I'm five foot four and he weighs 145 pounds. My husband and I have raised Will not to use his size against smaller people and he is what I like to call my gentle giant. He really is a sweet boy. So you can imagine my surprise a few weeks ago when Will came home off of the school bus with a disciplinary note. He had gotten in trouble on the school bus. Apparently there had been a commotion with a couple of boys on the bus and Will had stood up and um, was yelling at them and telling them to shut their mouth. And Anyway, to make it even more puzzling, on the bottom of this note, from his school bus driver um, after he wrote in what had happened on the bus, there was a smiley face at the bottom and it said, P.S. You raised a good boy. I just didn't understand exactly what such a note could mean. And of course my husband, you know, disciplined Will. He never said a word. And <clears throat> a few days later, uh, one of our neighbors, Kay uh, is one of our neighbors, her and her family, her father approached my husband and told him that he wanted to shake his hand for raising such a good son. And he explained to my husband that there were some children on the bus that had been bullying his daughter, Kay, and that Will stood up for her. And he back the boys up and made them sit down. It absolutely broke my heart that he had not told my husband and I about this and had just taken the punishment as if he had rightfully deserved it. So that day when Will came home from school, we sat him down and asked him exactly what it was all about. And he said that something horrible had happened to Kay. And we have since confirmed it with her father. Something horrible did indeed, indeed happen to this young lady. Something that should not happen to any woman or man, for that matter. And there were other people involved, and they are being prosecuted. They were teenagers, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Other than to talk to her, you would never know that such a thing had happened to her. She is such a sweet girl. She hugs us and and approaches us with such warmth every time we see her outside. And I could not imagine anyone harming her. But it appears that they have. In any event, Will asked me, would I please make her a journal for Valentine's Day? And I have to tell you, this book was absolutely a joy to make. It's a simple little journal, but I think it's beautiful. It's like Kay. It is understated, but lovely. It's small. It measures seven inches by almost five with a one and three quarter inch spine. And that's the back. Will help me select the paper. He wants to give her this book because he told me that in school one time, they read a story about someone who had had something horrible happen to them. And <clears throat> they were encouraged to journal, to write, to get it out. And he said, Mama, 
I think Kay has a lot that she needs to put down on paper. I'll agree with that. So I created this book, and I hope that she loves it. It has um, a muslin tie, a ripped muslin tie. And on the inside, it has a cloth pocket trimmed in lace. Will even picked the little ephemera that he wanted to go inside. He said that he didn't want it to be too mushy, <laughs> but he wanted her to know that he cared about her and what happened to her. This is a little booklet with lace on the top with some more ephemera that tucks in the pocket. And I did my signature script stamping on the pages. And it has sewn lace and long strings and coffee staining throughout. It's not the most spectacular book I've ever made. Here are the little covers for the strings there. But it certainly is the most heartfelt book I've ever made. My son is not known for giving me much notice. Um, he just asked me to do this <clears throat> two nights ago. So I put this together today in the midst of some other orders that I have. There's a lovely piece of ephemera. And we want to give it to her on Valentine's Day to let her know that she's loved by friends and that she can write privately in this book to clear her heart and to ease her frustration to get everything off of her chest. She's 12. You know, I'm older than my husband. <laughs> so, <laughs> naturally, Will, who is 11, would choose a 12-year-old girl. But he's a good boy. And it made my heart happy to make this for him and for her. He wants to give it to her along with maybe a teddy bear. There's a pretty little journaling tag there with some lace on these pages. And we're gonna do that. And I have a feeling that this may be the first of many requests for girls on Valentine's Day. This, Like I said, this is the first time he's ever asked me to make something for a young woman other than a teacher. So it's a big deal. And to know the story behind it makes it even more special. And I'll tell you, he's a good, like I said, he's a good, good boy. He played football this past year because of his size. He's a guard. And during one of the games, one of the coaches had put a young man on him that was about half his size. And Will would just put his arms across his chest when they hiked the ball and would just kind of nudge the boy back. I remember asking him, why don't you just run over him? You're so much bigger than him. <laughs> We're aggressive about our football in the South, y'all. And he looked at me and he said, Mama, his mother is here too watching him play. That was a lesson my son taught me that day. There have been many lessons that I've learned from my children throughout the years that I'm very, very thankful for. But the lessons that I learned when making this book, thinking about what happened to that child, and knowing that my son cares about her and has befriended her and wants her not to hurt anymore, that makes me happy. And I am proud of the son that we are raising. And there's a pocket on the inside back cover with flowers and lace and more cards. And this journal, like I said, is, is not for sale. It's for Kay, requested by my son. But I really did just have to take the opportunity to share it with you and tell you their story because there are so many people that think we are in trouble with the youth these days that what is our country going to come to when they take over? Well, I can tell you there are some good ones out there, and I happen to be the mother of one. And I'm so proud. Thank you for taking a look. And please remember to say a prayer for all the children and adults out there who suffer in pain and do what you can to help. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.